been getting questions about my hair and how I do my hair and what products I use to do my hair and I figured I would just make a quick video on how I personally do my hair and what works best for me. I know this isn't going to work for everyone um, and everyone's hair reacts differently so please do not quote me on anything I do in this video. This is just strictly what works best for me. I really find that this is the best plan of attack for me. I find it gets my hair as light as it can possibly get with doing the least amount of damage. So this is just what I do. I usually do get someone to help me, either a friend or my mom, just whoever's kind of around. And I will actually go through all the products I use as well, just because I do use professional products. I don't use box dye just because I find it does so much damage to your hair and never gives you the result you're looking for. And I would definitely suggest testing um, just small parts of your head and not doing your whole head right off the bat because like I said everyone's hair reacts differently I cannot stress that enough just because it works for me it is not going to work for you I've been through different scenarios I have tested different amounts of developer and different um, amounts of bleach I've done a bunch of different things and this is just what works best for me so hopefully this can help you guys out a bit and if you are trying to do this at home by yourself um, it just gives you a little bit of insight on what works and what doesn't. So hopefully this helps and let's get to it. Okay, so to start you're going to need a mixing bowl, a brush, you're going to need the bleach. You can pretty much use whichever one as long as it is professional. Same with developer. I use 30 developer, but you can use pretty much any brand. And then just gloves, a measuring scoop, and this is the conditioner I use to actually tone my hair. So I'm just going to get right into it and pretty much what I do to begin is just separate my hair. So I usually part it where I normally part my hair just so that that is the first place to get the bleach and it can develop the longest. And then you also want to separate it into four sections by going down either side and kind of creating a cross along the top of your head just so that it's easier to actually bleach and kind of um, work through it as sections instead of trying to do it all at once which is a little bit crazy sometimes. Okay so for mixing the bleach I do the normal ratio which is two to one with the developer being twice as much as the bleach and you pretty much just mix it all until it's a creamy consistency and then immediately start putting it on because it will activate as soon as you mix the two products together. So here I'm just going to start by going down the center of my head and just making sure I get the part really well because that's probably one of the main spots that people are going to see. And then you also want to make sure to get around your face because again this is one of the main spots people are going to actually be able to see. So if for any reason part of your hair does not develop or doesn't have as much time to develop you want to make sure you get all the spots that are a little more obvious first. So for me I usually separate my hair into about like one eighth of an inch sections as I go along the front of my head just because it gives me the best coverage and you really don't want to make sure you're missing any hair because it looks super awkward when you have one spot on the top of your head that is dark brown and the rest is bleach blonde. So I pretty much do this all the way along the front of my head. I'm still just sticking in the front two sections. I kind of work my way from the center down on one side and then I go back and do it on the other side. And then I usually get someone to help me do the back just because it is a little more tricky. But you pretty much are doing the exact same thing. So just finish that process, go shower, wash it all off, and then you're going to end up with this super yellow hair that I have here. It looks really awkward and not super great, but that is what toning it is for. So I use this purple conditioner for toning just because I find it actually works better than most toners have ever worked on my hair. This tends to turn my hair more white without turning it completely purple. and. I can also let it sit on my head for longer so I'm not overly concerned about the fact that it takes me a little bit longer and I can really just take my time and be super accurate and make sure I'm only getting it on the roots because like I said the rest of your hair is going to be a little more weak so it will take and turn your hair purple if you overlap it too much. So just get it on the roots, let it sit for as long as you want. I sometimes let it sit for like 40 minutes and then I'm just going to shower again, wash it all out with regular shampoo and conditioner 
and we're done. Okay, so this is the finished product of my hair. This is what it looks like after bleaching it and toning it and all that fun stuff. This is actually a couple days later um, just because I was really tired and I didn't feel like filming after I bleached my hair. Um, I also did a conditioning treatment on it. You can pretty much just do whichever conditioning treatment you want. Um, honestly, sometimes I just use coconut oil, whatever works best for you, whatever you have available to you. Just keep your hair healthy. Bleaching it can do some really awful things to your hair. So just be smart about it. And I really hope this video helped you guys and hopefully it helps you save a couple bucks. I know it's super stressful going and spending hundreds of dollars on your hair when you're on a budget. So hopefully this can just be a really easy way for you guys to save a couple bucks and Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I see you guys later. Bye!